Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Um, it quite excites me to uh, know that at least we are doing the last lesson of the book two of An Nahwi Wadih. Alhamdulillah. As I've been saying, it takes patience, um, follow it diligently, and then gradually, inshallah, we will do a lot together. Inshallah. And then you will always keep us in prayers. Uh, such that we need a lot of, uh, we need time, uh, we need all the, whatever we can have to make sure these lessons continue. As I've been saying, it's of a bad character that you start a book and not finish it. The student side and the teacher side. When you start a book, in any case, you must finish it. So inshallah, whatever we are doing here, we are bent on finishing everything, inshallah. Just that we need to put things in order. Um, normally, when we study, we have a wrong nature of putting our lessons such that we, we want to just learn books, finish everything, put merge them together, and then we, we end up not having a very good understanding of the Arabic. But then we want to put everything in order. When you are doing this grammar, you are comfortable doing it. As we finish the book two of al Kirat or Rashida, you realize that we've given some break. Inshallah, we will continue to all those accents. Um, we want to finish this at least the book two of the an nahl Wadi also. And then, inshallah, we will see how we would uh, take care of all of them. Okay. Now we come to Zorf al-Zaman or Zorf al-Makan. I think before this lesson, uh, the, the previous lesson I had mentioned about al-Maf'ulun, al-Maf'ulu fihi. And it happens to be the next lesson, Zorf al-Zaman or Zorf al-Makan. I said that these two, Zorf al-Zaman is the adverb of place, uh, adverb of time. Wazarf al makan adverb of place. These two together are al maf'ulu fihi, yani where the action happens, in what time and in what place. Okay? So we go to the um, we go to the topic, we go to the Zorf, I think I've explained the Zorf word before. Zorf in everyday language, we use it to mean container, envelope. Envelope. You can call it Zorf. You buy something and you want them to give you a pack to put in it, it's Zorf. That package you put your whatever you buy in it, it's also called Zorf. Yani. But Zorf in terms of uh, Arabic language, Arabic grammar, we, we call it adverb. Yani. So Zorf is man adverb of time, Zorf is makan adverb of place. Okay. Al Amthila says, Makastu bil askandariyati shahran. Makastu, makasa, yani to stay at a place, yani baqaytu. Bakaitu, bakaitu, to, re, to remain up at a place. Makastu bil askandariya ti shahran. I stayed in Eskandaria, that is Alexandria, for a, a month. I stayed in Alexandria for a month. In the story of Sayyidina uh, uh, Suleiman and the, the hoodhood, where it says, for Makasa Gaira Ba'idin. You see the word there. I think the first lesson of the al Qur'an or Rashid also we saw this word. Makasa bimana to remain at a place. Okay. So Sharib al Maridu at Dawa Asabahan. The patient took the medicine at Dawa, the medicine, took the medicine Sabahan in the morning. Shaharan for a month. Jalastu Ma Asadiki Lahzatan. I sat with my friend for a moment. Lahza, a moment. Tu qadul masabihu laylan. Lamps are lighted at night. Tajma'u an namlatu kutaha saifan. An namlatu, the ants, gathers its food. The ants gathers its food. Kuta, kut, kut is the food, sustenance. It gathers its sustenance. Saifan, in summer. During summer. Now, if you look at all these things, you realize that they all come to show time. Shahran, a month. Sabahan, morning. Lahza, a moment. Laylan, night. Soifan, summer. These things, these nouns, all which are mansub, they all come to show time, period. Okay? So, even before we get to the bahs, you know that these ones are Zuruf Zaman. You know that they are, each one of them is Zorfu Zaman. Okay, then we come here. It says, Waqaf tu amam al-mir'ati. 
I stood in front of the mirror. I stood in front of the mirror. جلست الحرة جلست الحرة تحت المائدة. The cat sat under the table. تحت under the table. نام الكلب خلف الباب خلف الباب. نام الكلب خلف الباب. The dog slept behind the door. The dog slept behind the door, at the back of the door. Yathibu al-lissu fawqa sur. Yathibu from wathaba, to jump, to pounce. So the liss, the thief, the thief jumped fawqa sur, over the fence, a sur fence. The thief jumped over the fence. Jara Ali Yun Milan. Ali ran for a mile. A mile. Ali ran for a mile. Yani he covered a mile. Okay. Now all these also, if you look at them, you realize that it's about place. If you look at all these ones, you realize that they are talking about place. You know, Amam in front of Tata, beneath or below or under. Khalfa, behind or at the back of, Fawqa, above or on top of, Milan, a mile. You see, all these come to show place. They all come to show place. Okay? He says, Al Bath. So these are also called Zuruful Makan, or Zuruful Makan, for each one of them. Fil Amsilatil. في الأمثلة الخمسة الأولى in the first five examples لا يهمنا إلا الكلمة إلا الكلمة الأخيرة في كل مثال وهي in the first for example nothing we need nothing here except the last words الكلمة الأخيرة the last word and the last word is شهرا صباحا لحظة ليلا صيفا وإذا فحصنا عن هذه الكلمات فحص بمعنى وإذا بحثنا في هذه الكلمات if we should check these words if we should check these words when we say فحص in terms of hospital that is diagnosis okay قام الطبيب بفحص المريض the doctor uh, diagnosed the patient okay so when we check these words when we diagnose them في ذاتها in itself we check the word in itself رأينا أنها أسماء منصوبة we realize that they are أسماء منصوبة first of all ولكننا نريد أن نعرف ارتباط كل كلمة منها بالفعل الذي في جملتها you see the same expression he used for the previous topic but we want to know the connection of each of these words with the verb in a sentence ويكفينا لهذا أن نبحث في المثالين الأولين. and it's enough for us for us to check this the first two examples to understand. we don't need much. we just need the first two examples to understand the connection between the last words المنصوبة and also the verb in a sentence. حبك قلت حبك قلت يعني take it that you've said. حبك قلت take it that you've said. it's like saying حب أنك قلت says, مكثو بالأسكندرية. Let's say that you just said, مكثو بالأسكندرية. I stayed in Eskandaria. فهل يعرف السامع فهل يعرف السامع من هذه الجملة مدة إقامتك مدة إقامتك بها and with this will the listener know from this sentence the period of your stay will the person know the time frame you stayed there? No. الجواب لا. The response is no. ولكنك إذا قلت but if you should say شهرا مكثت بالأسكندرية شهرا for a month عرف السامع مدة مكثك بالأسكندرية the listener is able to know the period you stayed in أسكندرية ألكسندرا if you say مكثت بالأسكندرية أسبوعا مكثت بالأسكندرية يوما مكثت بالأسكندرية سنة. This comes to show 
the time يعني كم مدة مكثت هناك says وحبك قلت and consider that you've said شرب المريض الدواء the patient took the medicine فإن السامع لا يفهم من ذلك الوقت المحدود الذي شرب المريض فيه دواء if you say شرب المريض الدواء the listener does not get to know the exact time that the patient took the medicine in it the listener is not able to determine the time the patient took the medicine okay فإذا قلت so if you should say صباحا شرب المريض الدواء الدواء صباحا if you should add the صباحا عرف السامع ذلك the listener now knows that the patient took the medicine in the morning وهكذا يقال في الأمثلة الثلاثة الأخرى and same can be said for the other three examples فهذا الأسم فهذه الأسماء المنصوبة التي تؤين الزمن الذي حصل فيه الفعل تسمى ظروف الزمان and these أسماء منصوبة they are supposed to be منصوبة التي تؤين الزمن الذي حصل فيه الفعل تسمى ظروف الزمان so when you ask what is ظروف الزمان you say اسم منصوب يؤين الزمن الذي حصل فيه الفعل from here you can even coin the definition when you ask ظروف الزمان ظروف الزمان هو اسم منصوب يؤين الزمن الذي حصل فيه الفعل okay it shows the time that the action occurred in it ظروف الزمان okay ننظر الان الى الامثله الاخرى ونتأمل الكلمات. Let's look at other examples and also ponder over the words أمام تحت خلف فوق ميلا. فنجد أنها أيضا أسماء منصوبة. They are also of course أسماء منصوبة. ثم نبحث عن عن ارتباط كل كلمة منها بالفعل الذي في جملتها على النحو الذي سبق في ظروف الزمان. And we also now check we check the connection between these nouns, this asma that have mans, that are mansuba. We check their connection with the verbs in their sentence. The zorf, just like we did for the zorf zaman, al nahw lazi sabaka fi zorf zaman, just like we did in the zorf zaman above. So you know, with the zorf zaman, the asma mansuba comes to show the time that the verb occurred. Okay, so the zorf al makanfa. We are now going to look at it. it. Says Fatara Annahu. If you look at it, Fatara Annahu Ida Kala Ka ilun. You know, you see that if somebody says, Wakaftu Lam Yufham Lam Yafhamu Samiu Illa Annahu Wakafa. When I say Wakaftu, the one listening to me only understand that okay, I stood up. Walakin Nahu Laya Arifu Laya Ariful Makani Ladi Wakafa Fihi. Now, if I say I stood up or I, I stopped, the person only understands that I said I stood up or I stopped. Well, I can, the listener does not understand, does not get the place where I stood in. Okay? But if he says, Amam al Mirati, if I say, Wakaftu Amam al Mirati, Bayyana lisami makan al Wukuf, he now clarifies for the listener the place of standing where he's standing وَإِذَا قَالَ إِنْسَانٌ if somebody says جَلَسْتُ جَلَسَتِ الْحِرَّةُ لَمْ يَعْرِفْ السَّامِعْ أَيْنَ جَلَسْ أَيْنَ جَلَسَتْ if somebody says جَلَسَتِ الْحِرَّةُ you get to know that yes the cat sat but then you don't get to know where the cat sat وَلَكِنَّهُ إِذَا قَالَ but if you should say تَحْتَ الْمَائِدَ يعني جَلَسَتِ الْحِرَّةُ تَحْتَ الْمَائِدَ عَرَفَ مَكَانُ جُلُوسِهَا You now know the place it sat. وَكَذَلِكَ يُقَالُ فِي الْأَمْسِلَةِ الثَّلَاثَةِ الْأُخْرَى And so is said for the other three examples. فَهَذِهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْمَنْصُوبَةِ First of all, these accusative nouns الَّتِي تُبَيِّنُ الْمَكَانِ الَّذِي حَصَلَ فِيهِ الْفِعِلِ يعني أسماء منصوبة تبين المكان الذي حصل فيه الفعل تسمى ظروف المكان ويسمى كل من الظروف الزمان وظروف المكان مفعولا فيه 
So these nouns, these nouns that are monsub that comes to clarify where the action occurred, where the place, we call them adverb of place, that is Zorful Makan. And the Zorful Makan and the Zorful Zaman, both of them are called Maf'ulun Fihi, as I indicated. So you now have Maf'ulun Fihi, Maf'ulun Li Ajlihi, Maf'ulun Bihi, Maf'ulun Mutlaq. And you realize that every Maf'ul is Mansub. So كل المفاعيل منصوبة. All the مفاعيل are منصوب. You see, every مفعول is منصوب. But just that when we come to مفعول فيه, we have two places that the action occurs in. We have two things the action occurs in. Action occurs in a place and it occurs in a time. So it has the ظرف الزمان and the ظرف المكان. جميل. Okay. Now we come to the قواعد. It says, Zorfu Zaman, Zorfu Zaman as we've already defined, please this are for memorization. Zorfu Zaman, ismun mansubun yubayyinu zaman alladhi hasala fihi al-fi'il. That is just the definition as we've seen. Then Zorfu al-makan is what? Ismun mansubun yubayyinu al-makan alladhi hasala fihi al-fi'il. Hasala bimana waqa'a, bimana hadatha, to occur. Okay? Jameel. Alhamdulillah, uh, Inshallah, I think this brings us to the end of the book one. Uh, and the maf'ulun fi is in Arab, basically. You come here, you come here and you see the namuzat, yashtaddu al-harf tayfan. Yashtaddu, of course, is fi'il mudari, marfu, marfu alam tarafihi ad-dhamma, that is better. Al-harru, fa'ilun marfu, bid-dhamma. Sayfan comes to show what? Zarfu zaman. So when you see it and it shows time, zarfu zaman, mansub. When it shows place, mansub, zarf al makan, mansub, al fatha. That is basically the Arab, nothing critical. Okay, so alhamdulillah, we've ended book two. And then inshallah, we enter the book three, inshallah, in our next lesson. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Anytime you're able to finish a book like this, because these are individual books. Book one is an individual book. Book two is an individual book. Book three is also an individual book. So you've been able to finish level one, level two. And it's a very great achievement, inshallah. Um, may Allah grant us the energy to continue and finish everything, inshallah. And also grant you the energy to follow diligently. Do well to revise. Wherever there is a question, do not hesitate. Do well to always ask your questions through mail, through WhatsApp, through Telegram, everywhere, inshallah. Facebook, you find me there, and then you put your question in the description section. Is the space for you? You can ask your question, whatever it is, and inshallah, we will attend to it for you. Okay, inshallah, we enter the next um, book. Congratulations to all of us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.